Alright, you are back with comedian Dev Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So, I'm not even going to talk about it. You think I'm going to bring it up immediately, but I've got other things to talk about. It's not like I'm just sitting there refreshing my screen every two minutes for the last fucking, well, it's almost two weeks now. So I'm not even going to talk about what you think I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about something more important to me. How much I hate craft. Like I'm still at this job doing like literally nothing. I'm halfway through my book now. But you can't just read four hours straight. So you've got to do some scrolling in between. No work. It's almost a test of will now. Like I am doing Nothing. In the mornings, I'm doing absolutely nothing. And then I cruise over. It's just the same. It's the same for the last month. Since I got back from Vietnam, it's exactly the same day over and over again. And I'm sort of like just in this groove now where if I get asked to do anything, I almost can't physically do it. I get agitated. The same thing happened when I was in cranes as well. Like you get so fucking lazy when you're operating cranes that when someone even like asks you to just do your job like can you just do this lift you look at them like they've asked you to basically fucking strangle your own mother like how fucking dare you how's the fucking balls on this cunt asking me to push the lever up slightly And that was part of the reason I left my old job at COVID because I was working for that steel company. Fuck, was I talking about that stuff? I must have been. I must have been doing the podcast back then. I might go back and start doing those reviews again. I need to remember my life. The weekly reviews on the pod. As soon as I get more free time, I'm doing it all again. But anyway, one of the reasons I left that crane job was... For starters, I didn't want to do it, but it was a steel company and they wanted me to get out of the crane and help the steel guys, which I was doing. But at some point I was just like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get out of the crane. I don't want to be in the crane. I don't want these cunts asking me to do anything. I don't want to do anything. And we're fucking really getting to the point in this job where I'm I'm at the same level. I'm not turning up on time because there's no one there it's just me no one even knows I'm there half the time so I just turn up more or less within a half an hour window of being late sometimes I'll get there a little earlier never on time though (laughs) never on time no way sometimes like half an hour late sometimes like 23 minutes late around there That's about where I am. That's my standard. But then I fucking, I've got four hours before I have to head over to the other job, which you've heard it all before. Anyway, it's the same story. So I'm reading my Kindle. I'm reading about neoliberalism. I'm starting to wrap my head around it a little bit more. But in between reading stints, I go to the phone. You got to check the price and I flick through Instagram a little bit. And my whole Instagram now is just craft for some reason. No, it's not all craft. It's three things. I don't know how all of a sudden it became these three things. It's people opening fossils. (laughs) I don't know why or how. Maybe I clicked on it once and I stayed on it like a a fraction of a second too long. But now my whole fucking feed is people opening rocks and finding those like curly worm things in the fossils the 180 million year old what are they called cephalopods or some shit so i've got a lot of that coming towards me i've also got people finding gemstones which sounds fun but it's not that fun Also, fossils isn't as fun as it sounds as well. Once you've seen someone crack open a rock and finding one 180 million year old cephalopod, then you've pretty much seen them all. 
the same with gemstones. It just comes out dirty and then they shine it up. The other one that's coming my way is some guy, well, it, I think it's two accounts. They're panning for gold. So these guys dig up a little bit of dirt and they pan for gold and they're finding gold specks. Sometimes they find a tiny little nug, but it's mainly specks. So it's not like, <laughs> it's not like enthralling shit. And then uh, the one that bemuses me the most that I just don't understand at all how it ended up on my feed. I'm getting a lot of coverage of craft, like crafts, like people making picture frames and shit, like talentless people doing craft, arts and crafts. I don't think anyone has made any good craft ever i watched this person and all they did was put different colors on this bit of wood and then smudge them around and then like poked it with a pointy brush to change the texture of the paint and there was sticky tape on the wood so they peeled the sticky tape off and it's all and i'm like what the fuck is this shit why am I watching? And it wasn't a short video of craft either. It was like a five and a half minute uh, like video of someone making a wood craft painting that was like it was shit. It was pure shit. Like if my daughter bought it home, I'd be like, wow, that's pretty good for a four year old. But if she bought it home in like, let's say three or four years, I'd just throw it directly in the bin. It's one of those things you find around your house and you're like, why the fuck did I get this again? Has anyone ever made money from crafts? Like jazzing up a picture frame? Or a little bit of colour, adding some colour to like a sock or something? And making it into a flower? Like craft sucks. Craft is for people who... <laughs> I shouldn't bag it because everyone should have like an outlet. Just don't fucking get it on my feed, please. Just do your craft in the corner, package it up, wrap it up for someone's birthday, they'll throw it away. That's how craft is meant to be done. It's not meant to be fucking filmed and put out there into the world. Craft. Has anyone ever made a dollar off craft? I tell you what I've seen, a lot of craft shops open and a lot of craft shops close. But yeah, the real reason I'm talking about craft is because Bitcoin's at 98,000 USD and I'm pretty sure by the time I wake up in the morning it'll be 100,000 USD and I just want to say congratulations to the people who heeded my advice that I've been fucking spouting for three years now. The time has finally come. And it's probably going to be 120 by the end of the year. And then uh, going into the new year, it could do absolutely anything. i got no idea. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for tonight. And I'll see you the fuck later.